Hey guys, it's Chris and we're back with something else. You know I work on electronics from Amigas to Apples to vintage video games and all sorts of stuff in between. I've even been known to make a pretty good chicken wing. But a lot of times these old bottle caps can't see the micro small things I need to repair. Like right now, I have a SCSI to SD in to take a look at. And I think the CPLD is messed up a little bit, but I can't see. I'll tell you what we do. We check out what's in this box. Now, you know I have the Anden Star up above me with the tiny end screen, and it works pretty good. But it was missing a few features that I was really interested in. So this new thing right here is a multi-lens digital microscope. So this is the Joya Lens, J-O-Y-A-L-E-N-S. It says on here, printing industry, textile, industrial inspection, PCB, etc. So this multi-lens microscope, it's the model uh, JL249MS. And it says it has HDMI. This thing is going to be a lifesaver. And we're going to unbox it right now. And I'm going to be using this to actually look at and inspect the SCSI to SD that I have in for repair. Comes with an instruction manual, of course. Now you're gonna notice that this is a significant upgrade to my current Andon Star. Why? Because of this. This is a game changer. This thing is like an iPad. It's a 10 inch screen and it's gonna be great. It has the same exact controls as the Andon Star and it has the same remote. So if you're uh, familiar with that, battery's not included, you'll need two triple A's. Here are your lens caps, super duper lens cap, the clear cover, your mounts, you even get a micro SD card, 32 gigabyte. Why would you do that? Because you can capture your work on the screen. It is really incredible. Check out the other videos I've done on the Anastar review and compare it to this one. This one is far superior. Here are the clear slides you can get, full complement of tools, and the tray. Now this tray is significantly larger. Let's see how the instructions actually look. You get video demonstrations. Wow. Wow. Ultra HD 2880 by 2160. That's like almost 4K quality. 24 frames per second. 1920 by 1080 video resolution at 60 or 30 or 1280 by 720 at 120 frames per second video recording capability. Saves format in MP4, has a maximum of 120 frames per second with 600 lumens of an illumination. Wow. Three times the digital zoom and will output clear up to a 28 inch HDMI monitor. That's 24, we're gonna check that out. Photo resolution, 24 megapixel, 5600 by 4200 stored in JPEG. Video, you can store video or photos on that SD card that comes with it. Output to HDMI works on any PC from Windows XP on up. So, this piece gets bolted to the bottom. The instructions look pretty good, but the numbers on the instructions are actually the parts with them, and it doesn't tell you how to put it together. So this is actually an Allen wrench, which is supplied there. That holds this in. The rest, this pipe screws in. So the ring goes on, and then this goes on. This is your height adjustment. You can also lock it in against turning. Full adjust oh, that's so much better because now I can pull in and out. I had That was the problem with the previous one is I couldn't pull the microscope in or out. I was fixed on a plane. I could move the part, but I could not move the microscope. This will help 400,000 times greater because now I have full adjustment in and out on the microscope. These two lights will illuminate the parts. So before I put the microscope in, I have to take these two screws out for the cover of the lens so this goes in here all the way down look how nice this is look at that look at that so far it's nice we're gonna put our standard um lens on for now oh, it comes with an hdmi cable okay so here we are i have the cables ran i've noticed it gives you two cables one cable i'm sorry i took that road mic off one cable here is just for powering the unit. The other cable powers the lights and the unit itself. I have pre-ran the HDMI cable, which should override the screen and shoot at HDMI. 
for now, that's going to get unhooked. Welcome! Check this out. So this is a 10 inch screen. There's the meat mullet. Two meat mullets and then some. That's a great size screen. The best part about this thing is I can go up or down for clarity. I have a turn focus. Can now scoot the microscope itself, the whole unit physically, if I loosen up the screw, and pull it back or forward. It's not the smoothest action because it's front heavy. But you see how I can adjust it? If I part was all the way to the back, I could scoot the actual microscope back this far. So I'm still seeing the whole thing. That's wonderful. I love the ability to scoot this back and forth because a lot of times my parts are big and I can't see them at all. And this helps so much. Now, like always, we will have Brightness control. We can zoom in. Come on. I think my batteries are dead. There we go. Oh, digital zoom. Look at that. One flick at a time. I'm just pressing the button here. You can also use the front controls if you're in a pinch. Now, what I like doing is the reverse video function. Well, you can take the supplied HDMI cable and it's going to shoot this over to here. It should. Oh. Perfect. Now I'm on a 24 inch screen. You're like, that's yeah, not that clear. Well, I'm going to adjust the manual controls of the microscope itself to clear it up the best I can. Now the lighting, I can adjust lights. I can put lights right on the part, physically moving the lights. I can then use the controls to, I'm using the remote to zoom in and out of my part. This is with the standard lens. Turn them off. That's natural lighting. Lights on. And you can see the glare right here underneath my crusty finger. That is me physically moving these lights, spotlights. I think digital microscopes are a great addition to your house. I use it for electronics repair. Your results could be different. Maybe, oh, there it is. All right, lower button, reverse video. That's what I use to check out the solder joints. All of these in this area, this is a tip of a pointer. Good, good. Look, see how these are dark and they're good? Well, right here I got some janked up pins. There's a bridge, there's a bridge. That's disconnected. The idea of the microscope is it's gonna help me out where I can't, I can't see as well. Let's try one of the other lenses. So one, two, the lens simply comes down. Super big lens. Very simple operation. All right, let's go back on with the super lens. Yeah, now we're gonna see that thing. Wow, look at that. Look at that image. That is incredible. And that was my chair squeaking. Now, this is the finest pick I own. Right here is a bridged pin. This pin's pushed over, as is this one. Some of the... That's bridged. That's bent. That's bridged to this one. I don't know who soldered this thing. But the ease of this is I can now look at this big monitor and see what's going on. Yep, that is definitely solder. That is solder. Bridged. Bridged and bent and bridged into this one. And this one is okay right here. Had I not had this magnification level, let me see if I can clear it up even more. There we go. Had I not had this level of magnification, I would never have been able to see this with these eyes, nor attempt to repair this. This is super magnified, so you can really see how crusty things get. There we go. Looks like I got them freed up enough. My word, even the tip of a razor blade is too big. Wow. Okay, this pin I can move. All right, I got one pin free. There we go. Are they supposed to be bridged? Here's mine. I'm gonna take this out. We're gonna look at mine under the microscope. And it looks bridged too. All right. 
They're all bridged. This is the original again. Let's eat them up again. Let them melt again. Okay. Temperature check. Same continuity check across the lines. Why not? It's this one. Uh, that was it. This is the first bridged one. This one. Okay. Very impressed so far. Another feature of this is you can rotate the screen. Like I could stand up and have this tilted this way so I'm looking straight down on the unit. Or adjust it to your, you know, turn it to the side over here. You can, you have full range of motion. This is 10 inch screen. How much did this unit cost? 200 bucks. Is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it because the amount of repair work that I do and the simplicity of use. Now, the instructions were not perfect with what screw went where. It was only two screws for the base unit. And uh, the completed instructions do give you full pictures in color. You know, basic diagram instructions. Full color pictures on usage, remote usage, how to export to a TV, how to record video, how to choose your lens size, different on-screen functions. Lots of great things. Flipping the unit horizontal, HDMI, or USB output. You can download the software right to your machine so you can run the microscope with all the functions right to your computer via USB. The same USB that's powering the whole thing. That is incredible. So I'm going to provide a link in the description below if you are interested in grabbing one of these. It's on Amazon. You can get it right from the manufacturer. Shipping for this was three days three days at my door and it's going to get a lot of use on this channel so that's all i got for the joya lens 10 inch microscope digital microscope check it out with the amazon link below thank you joya lens again for making this possible until next time thanks for watching and i hope you learned something